Charlton. Draw at Cardiff meant that in the last match of the season, they needed one point from their home match against West Ham, who two days earlier had won the FA Cup. A crowd of over 47,000 turned out to see the game. This time they were determined to make no mistakes, although there was plenty of tension in the Sunderland dugout. An early spell of pressure from Sunderland saw some chances. Hawley testing the West Ham keeper with a right foot drive. But then came the breakthrough. Hawley laid a pass back and twice the West Ham defence could not clear the ball. Robson's shot was only parried by the keeper and Arnott was following up to drive it home. A second by Stan Cummings, ten minutes from the end, made promotion secure. The spectators were absolutely jubilant, forcing the team to come out for a lap of honour. We just needed a point to go up, but we wanted to win. We just went out. Just to kill West Ham off virtually in the first 20 minutes by harrying them and running at them. You know, because if you let West Ham play, then there's not many good, not many better teams than West Ham when, they, when they're allowed to play. So we didn't allow them to play. Oh, it's been the highlight of my career tonight, you know, since I left Middlesbrough and went six months in the second division to go straight back up. It's the highlight of my career. And you got the goal that was the, the winning, the, the important one. Hi, why the lads were saying I, I've been drying up all week, you know, not scoring five a sides and I haven't scored for a few weeks in the matches and I've got one tonight to show them. Yeah, it's been nice to be involved in two celebrations in three days. Uh, particularly pleased with the little man, little Pop, who uh, yeah, is a good mate of mine. And, uh, Can we have him in here with you? Go on, Can let's I, get him. Better cover yourself up, right? <laughs> But uh, no, yeah, please, uh, Bob. I think uh, it's terrific for him to go up, and uh, and I think the supporters were great tonight. Got behind the team, and uh, the fact that he haven't lost at home all season, I think sums it up. Really, he deserves it. I certainly wish him all the best, and with these supporters, I must have a chance. I'm delighted that 47,000 people turned up tonight, and in true Wearside fashion, they got behind the team, and I thought they were absolutely magnificent.